let's discuss it again a little confusing to even begin with yeah um let's see what is given to us and this is the charm of tp right? they can give you any kind of format any kind of structure any kind of data okay so the following argument is logically flawed so my first uh, you know uh, action over here what am i going to do when i read this is going to look at what are they talking about the following argument what or argument so i see i have a premise one excuse me, premise two and a conclusion so okay so this is the argument that they are talking about right all right then the author's goal so he is they're telling us that this is logically flawed that this is not a good argument there is a flaw in it okay the author's goal was to craft the argument so that goal was to craft the argument but he, not that he was able to right was to craft the argument so that the conclusion follows logically from premises one and two. And so that both premises are necessary to draw the conclusion. Now, this is what we're talking about deductive logic. Yeah? Uh, when we say that the conclusion follows logically from the two premises and that both premises are necessary to draw, you know, they are both involved. Like when we said all A's are B's and all B's are C's, that means all A's are C's, that deductive logic that you can logically draw uh, the conclusion from the premises and that both premises are involved in drawing the conclusion, right? So, th so this is what he had attempted to do. He wanted to craft an argument which had perfect deductive logic that premise A is there, or premise one is there, premise two is there, and the two of them together lead to the conclusion, right? Okay, let's read what the argument is. Premise one, every respondent to our survey who reported feeling satisfied also reported being in a good mood. So, okay, every respondent to our survey, what did we say? Every, when, whenever, always, right? They all, they, they are if statements, right? Or I can just say all also. Anyway, doesn't matter. As we said, we're talking about deductive logic. No worries. So let me say all who reported feeling satisfied so i'll just say satisfied yeah also reported being in a good mood so i'll say a good mood all who were satisfied were also so are let's say also reported so are let's say all uh, who are satisfied are also in a good mood so this is something like all is are b's right as i said it doesn't matter what a's and b's are it's about the structure logic is about the structure not the data so my a over here is satisfied and b over here is good okay look at premise two every respondent to our survey who reported having a central goal so then also reported being in a good mood so what this says is all who let's call it just goal this is a central goal have or are doesn't matter have good mood. These two premises are given to me. So this is like saying all C's are B's. Do we see that the B's are the same over here, right? Good mood, good mood. All satisfied are good mood and all goal, are, central goal are good mood. Okay. So if I have something like this, all A's are B's and all C's are B's, what can I say? Is there a conclusion that I can draw? Okay. What is the conclusion that he has drawn? He has said, therefore, assuming all of the reports were accurate and complete, every respondent to our survey who felt satisfied also had a central goal. So he's saying that means that all who were satisfied or felt satisfied, doesn't matter, have or are, okay, have a goal. So essentially, don't worry about the R's and the haves, etc. As I said, it doesn't matter what the exact data is. It's just about the structure. So they're saying all who have this, this characteristic, the satisfied, they also have a central goal. Forget about this, you know, the, the actual given uh, argument, just focus on this one, the simplified one, where we've taken away all the data and just kept the structure. Can I say here that all is or sees can i derive it logically can i say that if all a's are b's and all c's are b's that means all a's are c's well not necessarily right if all a's are b's essentially we said okay it's 
inside the a circle is inside the b circle and if all c's are b's then the c circle is also inside the b circle but then it it you know could be anywhere look this circle could be your c or it could have some overlap with a etc i don't know right so this is not something that i can derive from the given two premises above and that is the reason why the you know we, we already know that the argument is flawed we've been given that it is flawed okay now how do i okay what is the question let's look for that select for bold face a and for bold face b now you know when this is select for blah blah and for blah blah what you should do is you should go back to your answer format what this you know look at this the italics bold face a is this right so don't get confused what is the meaning of bold face a over here he says select for bold face a so he's saying here you select for for this particular section and for bold face b that is this particular section select for this section and this section two of the bold face phrases in the argument i see there are bold face phrases in the argument right report with feeling satisfied report with having a central goal so basically we call this satisfied we call this goal and we call this mood good mood and this is also uh, bold felt satisfied and had a central goal right so i have to select for bold face a and for bold face b here and here one of these one of these phrases and of course fair enough i have these phrases over here i have the option of all the five bold face phrases over here so i have to select one of them i don't know which one for bold face a and maybe one of them for bold face b i don't know which one yeah we'll see um such that bold face a occurs earlier in the argument than bold face b so um okay why have they given that we'll talk about it and exchanging the positions of these two phrases in the argument would make it so the argument fulfills the author's goal what does this mean that when i i select two bold face state uh, phrases and when i exchange their position over here in the argument let's say i pick this up and i put it over here i pick this up and i put it over here when i exchange their position then it would fulfill the requirements of the author what were the requirements the author wanted to craft an argument so that the conclusion follows logically that is he wanted to craft a deductive logic argument remember right so we so then you know too many words to just tell us this that we have to exchange the position of two of the bold face wherever whatever such that it becomes a valid deductive logic argument that's all it says right so it fulfills the author's goal make only two selections one in each column that makes sense now why did he say such that bold face a occurs earlier in the argument than bold face b okay so you know i i i found out that let's say i have to uh, switch this one with this and this one with with this right so i have found two of the phrases that i have to switch i have to interchange them now what will i call bold face a and what will i call bold face b that is the question right there has to be something that this distinguishes between the two i have to mark bold face look let's say i found out that these two reported feeling satisfied and reported having a central goal they are my answer yeah then i have to switch these two now should i mark a here and b here or should i mark b here and a here there are two ways in which i can give the answer that is the reason why they say such that bold face a occurs earlier in the argument so if i have found out that i have to switch these two then bold face a occurs first in the argument report of feeling satisfied so then bold face a will be here right this is what it means so is the question clear do we understand we have a flawed logic in the argument we have to switch the places of two of the bold face phrases such that the logic becomes valid such that it becomes a valid deductive logic argument yeah okay so now let's see what we have look all a's are b's and all c's are b's are is definitely not valid right it is not a valid argument what is a valid argument if i say all a's are b's and all b's are c's then that is a valid argument then that i then i can say all a's are c's right 
okay so then i i do understand that the issue is over here isn't it since i'm allowed to switch only to look this is the process that you will follow to arrive at the answer right otherwise we'll just keep getting confused in the data so think about how to arrive at the next logical step so my next logical step is i have understood what the argument gives as it is it gives me all a's are b's and all c's are b's and then it you know i mean it concludes that all a's are c's but i know that here is the problem this is not accurate right this thing cannot lead to this so then my error lies in this only right i know how to rectify it i can say all a's are b's then all b's are c's then i'll get all a's are c's then my conclusion will work out then my conclusion will hold right okay so then what can i i say i can say all who are satisfied are in a good mood note that our good mood occurs twice and here it's not in bold right so this i can't do anything about so i say okay all who are satisfied are in a good mood then i should say then all who have a good mood they have a central goal right i should if i switch this one with this and i switch this one over here then what do i get i'm switching this here and i'm switching this here what do i get i get all a's are b's and i get all b's are c's look i've switched these two all c's are b's are, has become all b's are c's of course b has to occur twice because this is what relates my premise 1 with the premise 2 otherwise there is no linkage right that relation is missing otherwise so then i can deduce what that all a's are c's so then my conclusion works out so then all i have to do is i have to switch these two goal and good mood so do i have goal and good mood yeah i have goal here reported having a central goal and reported being in a good mood now which occurs first reported having a central goal occurs first in the argument and reported being in a good mood occurs second so i'll select bold face a reported having a central goal and bold face b is reported having you know good right so my answer over here will be this particular the second statement and boldface b will be the third statement